So I am the biomedical teacher here at the high school and we're just going to kind of run through some of the stuff you could possibly do if you did the biomedical pathway. Um, so first, when you first come into the class um, as a sophomore most of the time, um, you're introduced with a crime scene and um, throughout the whole first unit we are trying to figure out what happened to our victim. And during this time, you're going to be analyzing different pieces of evidence. So we'll look at blood evidence, um, analyze hairs, fingerprints, DNA, different stuff like that. So if you're interested um, in forensic science, the whole first unit of this class is forensic science. Um, we'll test some unknown substances to try to figure out what that is. Um, so that would be dealing with forensic toxicology. Um, once we've kind of analyzed the crime scene, we then move on to autopsies. Um, and here I have some of my lovely hearts. So we would look at these hearts and we're trying to figure out if what happened to our victim was natural causes or foul play, so like a homicide or murder. Um, and so we need to look at our victim's heart to determine if it was normal or if there was something wrong with it. So that's what these hearts are for. These are actually abnormal hearts and we would compare normal hearts. Um, and that's kind of what goes on in the first unit. Then later on, we get to play with some cool toys. This is actually our um, control bleeding kit. Now, if some of my past students watch this, they're going to be a little upset because the curriculum was changed and this was added in. So they didn't get to do this. This is new stuff. Um, but this simulates a bleeding arm. These are our blood vessels. Um, and basically what you have to do is correctly pack and do first aid on the wound to stop the bleeding. Um, so this is like real life experience that you could use anytime if you were ever um, at the scene of an accident or whatever. Um, and then you'll also learn how to use a tourniquet, which is this part. Um, something else we do, if you're interested, this is going back to some of the medical stuff. Um, you'll learn how to take blood pressure. Um, also how to use some cool medical equipment that you've probably seen um, in the hospital. So this is one of the finger clamps. Um, this one actually tells your oxygen saturation levels, um, which is pretty cool. Later on, we then get into um, some genetics. So how things are inherited from mother to child, father to child, genetic diseases. You'll look at some of the, these are really cool. Um, so these are the chromosome boards of fictitious patients. So these are case studies and you have to analyze these to figure out what's going on. So right now it probably looks like Chinese, um, <laughs> but you'll learn how to read these and actually make sense of it, which is a pretty cool accomplishment. Um, so that's kind of part of the first class. Um, and then, oh, also, um, if you look in the back back here, we just got these. Again, this is new, so I'm sorry to my past students. Um, but this is actually a phlebotomy um, kit. It's a simulation, so you'll actually learn um, some phlebotomy skills, which is drawing blood, dealing with blood, taking blood samples. Um, so this is a pretty cool new addition also. All right, so for the second class in Biomed, it's called Human Body Systems. So basically what this class is, is anatomy and physiology on steroids. Um, so we basically cover the whole body, um, time permitting, you know, depends on how long we spend on each system. Um, and we go through and learn each body system and you go in depth about it, how it works normally. And then you get to analyze some case studies about what happens when things malfunction. Um, one of the cool ones that we look at is the nervous system and you'll get a fictional patient and you have to diagnose them with their nervous disorder based off of their symptoms, um, their medical histories, and different things like that. So you really are still analyzing evidence to come to a conclusion throughout this class too. 
Um, some of the stuff that you'll look at a lot, we'll use microscopes a lot in this class to analyze different tissues. Um, because you have to understand the smallest unit, which is the cell, but then tissues come together of the body in order to see it as a whole picture. So we'll look at the tissues a lot. There's a lot of labs um, in this class where you're the test subject. Um, like one of them, uh, you get hooked up with all these electrodes and we're going to hit you with a reflex hammer in your knee and see how well you react. Um, so we'll test your reflexes um, using some of this equipment. We'll also test your respiration rate to see how well you use oxygen and take in oxygen. Um, and then one of my favorite activities, um, because I just like stuff like this, you will be introduced to two skeletons that were found in a park. Um, and this is just some of the bones that we have. So these two skeletons, we're trying to figure out who they are. Um, and just based off of their bones, we have to identify their race, their age, their height, and their sex um, just by looking at their bones, which is a pretty cool activity. Then later we go into, um, once we narrow in to see what missing person it could be, we then analyze DNA from the missing persons to see if it's a match. Um, so it's still some forensic work, like from the first class, um, it's just a different um, career choice. Also in the class, you will become best friends with one of these. Um, if you talk to some people in the past class, they'll tell you that you get used to these a lot. These will become kind of like your kids. And basically what we do with these is throughout the class when we go through different body systems, um, you'll add the body systems using clay. So if you like to work with your hands and you like art, um, this is gonna be a great activity for you. So like during the nervous system, they'll use different colored clay to put in the brain um, in the skull cavity up here. And then you get to pick like eye color if you want it to be a male or a female and you get to name him. Eventually he'll have um, a digestive system muscles, if we get that far, um, blood vessels, his brain, he'll have some muscles on his face. At some points they look kind of creepy, but they're pretty cool. Um, and then one of my favorite things too in this second class is dissections. Um, so instead of me just showing you pictures of stuff, so like here's a brain, here's an eyeball, um, you actually get to touch it, uh, cut it open, see what it looks like, identify all the parts. This is not a human brain, so don't think your brain is this small. Um, but well, two of the dissections that you do in this class is of an eye and of a brain. Um, and the eye is actually one of my favorite dissections just because the eye is really complicated. And people Finally, we have our last class, which is probably one of my favorite classes. Um, it's called Medical Interventions. And you'll take this either your junior or senior year. Um, and the reason I like this so much is it's very uh, informative and puts you in the place of a lot of professionals today. Um, so you take on the role of a lot of different jobs and you have to learn how to talk to patients. Um, you'll kind of pretend that I'm your patient or that your fellow classmates are your patient when you're presenting cases to them. So you really have to learn how to talk to people. Um, how to present bad news without sounding like the world is ending um, because that's not how you want to come across to your patient um, when you're talking to them. One of the first things that we do, um, we study a breakout at a local university um, and basically all these people are getting sick and we're trying to figure out what it is. Um, so it's kind of fitting for the times, you know, um, since we're in this pandemic. It's not a pandemic, it's just localized to the university that um, and I'm holding this box because this is the lab. It's a lab piece. And basically what we're doing is testing um, biological fluid from our patients. And we're seeing if they have um, the sickness that we think they do. Um, I can't give a lot of information because I don't know who's watching this. So I don't want to give away what it actually is. Um, but this lab in particular, I know um, most people don't get to do until college um, and later in their college years. So it's really cool. Um, something else that we talk a lot about, which is going to be the slow box, is cancer. Um, in this class we talk about a lot of treatments, new treatments that have came out for different cancer um, 
patients. Also, what happens to cause cancer in the body. So what's going wrong when cancer happens? Um, and we're going to look at normal cells versus cancerous cells, so you'll be able to identify which cells are cancerous and which cells are normal. Um, we also do a lot of stuff with DNA. Um, one of my favorite labs is you actually get to test yourself um, to see if you have the gene for PTC tasting, um, which is something that's genetically inherited and not everybody has. So you can either taste PTC or you can't. Um, and it's this bitter tasting thing. I don't have the gene for it, so I don't know what it tastes like. But most of the time when my students, um, if they're a strong taster, when they taste it, they have a terrible reaction. Um, like, they think it's terrible. It's really gross. Um, and that's this lab. So basically what we'll do is learn the genetics behind it, how it's inherited, um, what it looks like on gel electrophoresis, how to compare it um, to a strong taster versus a non-taster versus a weak taster, what that looks like genetically um, and in your DNA. And then we'll actually test yours and see if you're a strong taster, a weak taster, or a non-taster. Um, so that's actually pretty cool um, just to be able to test yourself and see if it's something you have. Um, again, I'm going to go back to one of the major parts um, of this class is learning how to work with patients. These are all um, fictional patients. Some of them are based on true stories. Um, <clears throat> but these are genetic disorders and some of them are um, sad cases. So you'll go through these cases and you have to identify what's going on with this person, what disease they have. You have to figure out how to tell them they have this disease, um, what their outlook looks like. So you, you really take on the persona of a medical professional. Um, also in this class, which I can't really show, we do a lot of debates um, because in a lot of medicine and medical technology there's a lot of ethical um, concerns. So is this morally right or not? And we do a lot of debates with those. So things like um, cochlear implants for children. Is that, you know, should you do that? Should you not? Um, and when we talk about that, you learn how do you um, read audiograms, which is your hearing test, which is a pretty cool skill to have. Um, another debate we have is should parents be able to choose what their kids look like? Um, so should they be able to genetically edit um, embryos in order to produce the child like they want it to be? Um, and then again, we'll go into more gene editing, which is something that's um, happening now. Um, so, and gene therapy. So, editing your genes um, to get rid of a disease or to see if you have a disease. So, a lot of cool discussions happen in this class um, as you go through the rest of the classes. And when you get to this one, it's kind of like you put everything together and start formulating your own thoughts. So I hope something piqued your interest um, in this. I can't wait to have you guys. Um, there's a lot of professions that these classes cover, not just nurses and doctors. Um, so, you know, even if you, forensic science, we go through a lot of stuff with that. Um, you know, phlebotomists, that's a big one. Um, we do genetic counselors, physical therapy, athletic training. Um, so don't think it's just for people who want to be a nurse or doctor. This covers a wide variety um, of things and professions that you could possibly go into. Alright, so something, well, several things that I really love about teaching these classes and I really nerd out about a lot of the stuff that I teach because I just love it so much, I love science, is it's so hands-on. Um, we are in the lab more than we're in the classroom and I never, hardly ever stand up and just talk in front of you. It's more of you investigating things on your own. Um, also, just some of the stuff we cover is really life applicable. So you're learning things about the human body, about different diseases that you've probably heard of, or about things that you've seen on TV, um, and just a lot of the technology that you're introduced to in these classes really help prepare you for whatever you want to do in the future, even if it doesn't have anything to do with the medical field. But just all the content that this covers just gets me really excited because I think it's so cool to see how your body just works together without you having to even think about it. And then what happens when that might go wrong. So technology in this field has been really helpful because it helps us 
Well, and a lot of things diagnose things early. Um, so in the medical field, so there's a lot of new technologies that gives you a super early diagnosis that then allows you to start treatment way earlier. Um, also, all the technology we have that can study the human body on a more detailed level has given us a lot of cool information about how the body works and what happens when it malfunctions. In these classes in particular, um, all the lab equipment we use just allows you to have a better understanding of what's going on in the body, um, what's going on in the classroom, and gives you a real opportunity to use equipment that is actually used in the medical field. So some possible careers you could have in here, um, besides just a physician or a nurse, um, I've had several people come through who want to go to PA school, um, which is a physician assistant, and you can work alongside a lot of different medical professionals. Um, EMTs and paramedics, our control bleeding kit, that's directly related to emergency medicine. Um, some other things that you might not think about are different kind of medical counselors, so like a genetic counselor. Um, people don't, if you love genetics, which either, you're either going to love that or you're going to hate it, you might want to go into a field where you're a genetic counselor or a genetic scientist where you're studying genes to try to figure out ways to um, fix genetic disorders or you want to do the counseling side of it where you want to help families understand what's going on. Some other things, um, you know, forensic scientist, a CSI or a crime scene investigator, anything like that, a detective. Um, because we look at the uh, science side of the forensic science. We have forensic toxicology that we look at, also medical examiners, so people who um, will perform autopsies on the bodies, and then some other things, a uh, physical therapist, um, athletic trainer, a personal trainer, because we'll go into how to calculate BMI, how to create nutrition plans, how to recommend exercises for people who are injured. So really, I mean, your career options are endless in here. Um, even if you don't want to go into the medical field, some of this stuff is really good information just to have, just to go throughout the rest of your life to make you successful. Some other classes that kind of tie in with this class, um, one of them is going to be art, which is you know kind of random, but we do work with our hands a lot in here, and one of the things we do is actually make a model of the human body, and I just think it'd be really cool to see someone with an artistic mind um, put their own spin on the human body, like in a different way with like an art project or something. Um, we use a lot of math in here. Um, I hope that doesn't scare you away, but science and math kind of go hand in hand if you didn't know that. We graph a lot, um, look at data, um, you have to be able to interpret numbers and what they're telling you. So a lot of um, interpretation of math and what the numbers mean, as well as calculations just like in BMI, your metabolic rate, so how quickly your body is working to create energy, um, a lot of different formulas that go into that. Um, also, we could team up with engineering um, because in one of the last classes we look at prosthetics. Um, so you actually have to try to make a prosthetic arm, but you get to use cardboard instead of real material. Um, but we could, um, you know, send our prototypes to the engineering kids and see what they came up with as a prototype for us that was actually a working model. Um, biology, this is a very biology heavy um, pathway, but instead of just learning the content in here, um, you really get to see it in a hands-on approach. So this class and your biology classes really go hand in hand. Um, anatomy and physiology, because that's all about the human body. Also, sometimes we offer psychology out here, which will go into the nervous system, how it works, so your brain, how does your brain send signals to allow you to even think. Also with um, counseling, we look into genetic counseling. So we look at a lot of emotions like empathy and compassion um, just to see how to handle different cases. Mm -hmm.